We're here today to go across the fitting of a Rhinox Auto Log manual quick coupler. After unpackaging the quick coupler, the first stage is to remove the attachment pins. These should only be in hand tights and no tools are required at this stage. Place these somewhere safe so they don't get damaged by any grit and pick up any debris. So the next stage would be to lower the bucket link here in between the coupler. This is the easiest way to mount it. We can then insert the pin. Again, take care not to put the pin on the ground as this will bring up debris with the pin and then you'll put that into the hardened bushes on the inside of the link. For this, you may need a soft face mallet and also a bar just to drive the pin through. We can put the pin in and then we need to line up the bolt hole from the other side. So this pin actually has two holes at 90 degrees to each other. So we can actually use the outer hole here to align and rotate it. So it's at 90 degrees to the pole through the coupler. This allows the bolt just to slide straight in. We can then for now just fit the nut hand tight and we'll come back and tighten that shortly. So by mounting the coupler onto the bucket link, this allows the coupler to swing and pivot and it makes it far easier to fit and attach than had we fitting it to the dipper arm to start with. So to start with, we'll just put the pin in and we'll not position this all the way through. This will now allow us to fit some shims should they be required to the coupler to make sure that the fitment is tight. So the Rhinox Auto Lock Coupler comes with three different shim sizes, one, two, and three millimeters. There's four of each. This allows you to select the suitable shim to close up the gap between the coupler and the excavator arm. What you could do here is insert a bar just to stop the shim falling out whilst you insert the pin. The pin can then be slided through and we'll align the bolt hole and fit the bolt. At this stage, we can just insert the bolt and we'll do that finger tight. We'll come back and tighten them both up in a moment. What we will now do is we'll partially remove the rear pin and this will allow us to put a shim into the rear. Now we've got the coupler securely mounted with the shims fitted, we'll tighten up the bolts. One thing to note on this coupler is the pin overhangs as this is suited for a thumb. What we'll use for this is a 13mm socket on a ratchet and a 13mm spanner. It's important to ensure that the nylon element of the nut has fully passed the end threads and at least two threads are showing at the end of the nut. This is to ensure that the nylon element of the nut is fully captive and to stop the bolts from removing. This coupler is now fitted and ready for use. For further information on using this coupler or other information about it, check out the other videos here.